Hello, welcome back to the combat series and in this video I am going to be doing attack and sling. I'm also going to be fixing a few things like you being able to punch while having zero health and the NPC going after you even though you have died as you can see it's still going after me and even going permanently slowed when you get stunned after the fifth hit see permanently slowed okay so i'm going to be fixing the being able to punch while having zero health thing you can do that by doing this if two and let's make a humanoid variable character find for child humanoid and humanoid dot health or it's or or dot health is smaller or equals to zero than return end I'm clicking right it works now so now let's fix the part where the NPC follows the human when it's dead okay all right so to fix the bug we need to go to the NPC manager let's make a human variable hum C find for child humanoid if C orc of class and hum dot health is bigger than zero. Okay, we get an error. Alright, I'll just do this then. smaller or equals to zero then turn end okay let's reset it stopped going after me reset again it's not punching me but if I am alive the dummy will still keep punching me so let's fix the bug where you get permanently slowed okay so let's make a new value in combat table we're going to make this walk speed and let's also revert this right now we're making the same table twice it's inefficient so let's make a function for it set t okay so we're going to put in the character parameter we're also going to check turn actually now so let's just do this set t c set t c let's see if this works Oh yeah, I forgot to add in the new value that I'm supposed to add. I'm supposed to add a value called walk speed. Okay, so the bug happens because the stun handler, or it's the stun handler, because the stun handler, it saves your walk speed, right? Sets your walk speed to the saved walk speed. So when you amount five times, go to end lag, and your walk speed would be something like six, and then it when you get stunned it saves the walk speed so when you get unstunned it's going to be six instead of going to the saved walk speed i'm going to make it so it sets it to the combat tables walk speed i'm not going to set it to 16 because you might want to change some stuff like you might want to add an ability so that you could walk faster or something let's go here instead of humanoid instead of um Human at all walk speed will stay at a speed. I'm going to make it C dot walk speed. There you go. I think that should fix it. Yeah, it fixed it. Another way to find out if it's fixed is you make this really fast, like 36. 
and when you get it done and you go really fast that means it works okay so let's see if this works one two three four five okay it works now i'm also going to set it so when you stop going back going into unlock when the unlock is done i'm not going to set it to 16 but i'm going to set it to the walk speed there you go let's see if this works let's set it to 56 i'm going to amend five times and if i go really fast that means it works okay one two three four five I go really fast okay that works let's set it back to 16 okay now let's add an attack counter it's pretty simple actually go to your combat manager and in your hit service in your hitbox.touched function we're just going to check if you're stunned or not okay if character if cv.stunned then there you go, it's that simple. Okay, see it cancelled my attack. So this is it for the video. I, we in this video we fixed some stuff and we added attack cancelling the next video will probably be about i don't know damage indicators all right thank you for watching and i will see you later